excited today at Thacker Caskets to show you our Accord Oversized Metal Rental Casket. Uh, the Accord, what you can see here is you're seeing two different things, two components. This is actually the insert and what it looks like as a finished product after you've had the viewing and before you're going to the crematory that the seats would actually be in here, as well as the casket itself. As we talk about the casket, you can see the casket is in a neutral color scheme, silver shaded black, and the interior components of the casket are white. Um, this casket is available in all of Thacker's distribution network as a rent the rental casket. So what that concept really means is you tell us the day that you would like the casket delivered, you use it for the services, uh, the deceased services, and then you tell us what day you would like it picked up. Now this casket is not available for sale or for purchase because we like to ensure that the casket is in pristine condition every time you go to use it. So again, it's available as a rent the rental concept only. You just simply tell us the day you want it delivered, the day you want it picked up, and we make it all happen for you. When you order an Accord oversized metal rental unit from Thacker, what you're going to receive is the casket shell itself, but then also you're going to receive this oversized insert. The oversized insert features a plywood bottom for extra strength and rigidity as you put more weight into an insert, as well as features these fabric seatbelt-like straps that give you the ability to pull that insert out of the casket more easily. The next thing we're going to do is talk about the insert component pieces. Uh, the first thing is this lid. This lid is really just for the purpose of our warehouse facilities not getting the insert dirty. So again, this is actually not needed for either the presentation of, during the service or even after the service when you go to the crematory. So the next component is the actual cardboard dome lid that you saw earlier. This is a lid that you're going to use when you actually go to the crematory after the services. And then within the base of the insert, what you're going to see is all of your interior components. In addition, within this insert, there's also a plastic lining to prevent any leakage from getting out of the insert. So once the insert is ready to actually go into the casket, you're simply going to open the head end of the casket. Make sure you push the arm brace all the way in. Open the foot end of the casket. And you will see a lid mechanism that will hold the lid and you'll want to flip this over to hold the foot end lid open. Next thing you're going to do is open up the foot end of the casket. So you're going to take off the corners, which are actually attached via high power magnets. The next thing you're going to do is take a casket key. You're going to unscrew the bolts using the casket key. bring the end of the casket straight down. You can see the end of the casket is on a piano hinge to make it nice and smooth dropping down. There's a couple other features about the Accord Metal Rental Casket that we would like to explain. So the first one is the Teflon strips that are located at the bottom. The Teflon strips help the insert slide easily into the casket. The next thing is this bar. This bar gives the casket extra rigidity and strength as you're inserting the insert as well as using the casket. Lastly, this bar is highly arched so that all the deceased, as the insert's being slid, slid in, can fit underneath the bar. You're also going to have a head end adjustable bed in the casket. So what you're going to do to adjust the bed is actually take two casket keys, insert them into the bed posts, and then simultaneously turn them to adjust the bed up or down depending on how you would like the presentation of the deceased. So the next thing we're going to do is actually take the insert and slide it into the casket. So with some assistance,
first thing we're gonna do is install the front drop. So to do that, the, what you're gonna do is actually remove the backing off of the double-sided tape. You're then going to find the notch that goes around the arm brace. So as you can see, we found the notch. Paul is going to place it around the arm brace. And then we're gonna take the double-sided tape and affix it to the back side of the casket. The next thing we're gonna do is take the double-sided tape and affix it around the front. and then lay out the front drop of the casket. Let's pull it on top. And then finally, we're gonna add the hinge skirt. The hinge skirt already has Velcro pre-installed. So you fix that to the backside bottom of the picture frame. To close the foot end lid, you're going to lean the lid forward slightly, release the mechanism, place it back in its holder, and bring down the lid. Finally, you're going to put the overlay on top of the casket and then make any final adjustments on the front drop. Next thing you're going to take the deceased as well as the insert out of the casket. Then you will work to place the lid or the dome on top of the deceased. The last thing we're going to do is fully assemble the lid. That's how you finish the insert assembly.